everyone! This is another look from Christina Aguilera's Not Myself Tonight video. I had mentioned that I was going to do more looks. This one is my absolute favorite. They barely show it at all in the video, but it's the scene where she's wearing a white, really tight dress and she has so much hair. Oh my god, it's like a blonde, curly afro. It looks amazing, especially with this makeup. Oh. The dark vampy lips, the thick lashes, and um, yeah, I will, when I figure out what part of the video what the seconds are, then I'll put it down below. Um, but yeah, so I guess let's just start the tutorial. First and foremost, you always want to moisturize your face, including your eye. I already did that. I used Embryolisse. Now I'm taking a little bit of Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I'm just going to put that all over my eye. So in the video, Christina's eyes are not very well defined. It's The look mostly consists of liner, lashes, dark lipstick, and such. Um, that said, I'm just going to contour my crease just a little bit using Taupe Blush by MAC. A similar color that you can use would be like Omega or Wedge Eyeshadow. Next I'm going in with this flat brush and Naked Lunch Eyeshadow by MAC and I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid and my brow bone. Now I already had a bit of brow pencil left on my brows from when I was wearing makeup earlier and I actually want to lighten it up a bit so I'm going to take a bit of vanilla eyeshadow and the same flat brush that I dusted off to get most of the frostiness off. I'm just going to lighten my brow a little bit more. As I said, this look is very heavy with lashes, liner, and lips, so let's start the liner. I'm going to take Zero by Urban Decay, which is a waterproof black pencil, and just line right underneath my upper lashes. The liquid liner aspect of this look is, I don't want to say reminiscent of Amy Winehouse, because it's executed a lot better than that. Um, but it does kind of pull up and the line is very, very thick. So I'm going to use Prestige Black Liquid Liner to do that. Now you want to wing it out and it should be pretty thick, actually. See, I told you the liner is very, very thick in this look, but the lashes are actually even thicker, I think. Can't really see well from the video, but I decided to break out the thickest lashes that I have, and these are number 101B Black from eyelash.com. So that's what they look like. Let me cut them to fit my eye, and then I'll be right back. Look at those ginormous lashes I told you guys. So now for foundation, I'm going to use HD Foundation by Makeup Forever. This is number 110. And I'm mixing a little bit of this. It's Revlon Skin Lights. I'm going to mix some of that with it just to give it kind of a dewy effect. If you don't have this or some kind of uh, skin brightener, you can mix a little bit of like a skin tone pigment in with your foundation. And actually, I have a video on that, so click right here, I'll put a link right there. And then just for a little more coverage concealer wise, I'm going to use some of my Makeup Forever HD concealer right underneath my eyes. So just like the other looks in this video, she doesn't appear to have much blush on, but more of a contour, so I'm going to use a little bit of taupe, the same color that I used in the crease, and I'm just going to contour my face a little bit. Also using the same brush that I used for my crease, contour my nose. Now for the highlight, I'm going to use a little bit of Hyper Real Powder in Light by MAC. Fortunately, I can't show it to you because it broke, so it's in pieces, and I love this. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of that right here, and then also right along the bridge of my nose. Now, I can't tell what the makeup is underneath the eye, but it is a bit dark. Um, I don't think that they put black on her waterline because it doesn't have like that intense of a feel to it. So I'm just going to take zero and run it right underneath my lower lashes. 
and then just use my finger and smudge that a bit. Now for lips, I'm using Night Moth Lip Liner. Then as lipstick, I'm using Tarde and Not Safe for Work Lip Tars by Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics and I'm apply those with a lip brush. For the last step, you want to add a bit of clear gloss. I'm going to use, what is this? Moistly Lip Jelly by MAC. And there you have it. This is the finished look. So this is the scene in the video where she's like on the phone this dialing. Is the look. This is one of my favorite looks in the video. So, um, see? Super duper simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will talk to all of you soon.